So first of all, after you've bought your blueprint or hollow buildings from the store, you want to come into the hollow building editor from the top right drop down menu. Once in there, click on the little my building icon in the top right of the screen and in there you want to find the create a new building down at the bottom. Now you will have a pop up where you can search for your properties. Just start typing in the name of the property you want to place your new hollow building on. If you're not sure of the name you might want to go to the profile page and either check the name from there or change it if you need to. Next once you've found the one you want to build on click select property and you will enter the editor. Now you want the add blueprint button. Individual bought hollow buildings will also show in here so don't let the name confuse you. Click on that will bring up another type in selection screen. This time you're looking for the name of the hollow building you've bought and want to use. Now an important thing to remember is the smaller the plot size the less vertices you're allowed to build within it. Vertices being corners. So basically the smaller the plot the less complicated they allow the building to be. So let me show you for example something which is too big for this plot. Here you will see Grand Manor has over 2700 vertices. If I select this and then click to place, to the right you'll see issue detected and the vertices number in red. You will also see the maximum number of vertices you've allowed for your particular plot to the right of this too. So we know we can't use this one in here and we're going to have to go for something smaller. So first of all let's select and delete this building then we can come back to the blueprint selection. Now if I find the Viking longhouse I can see this has a much smaller number of vertices and will fit into my current plot. So once we click the blueprint we want you then want to click within the property and your building will appear. If you want to move it it's literally as simple as clicking and holding the mouse button down and dragging it around to where you want it. Next to make your hollow building appear on the Earth 2 map you need to give it a unique name and then we click the place building button. You will then have a pop-up which it might take a little while to load in but it will give you the total cost of placing the building. Cost is based on the total volume used by the building as more volume offers more storage space for future Earth 2 resources. Although we don't yet know if Earth 2 will put a cap on these so be careful with what you're using. But if you're happy with the price you want to click the place button and then that will be added to your property. You can then come to your property on the Earth 2 map, switch to hollow view and you will see your building is displaying. As always I hope this has helped, don't forget to like and subscribe and have an amazing day.